Tis the time, ladies and gents. The gas light is about to come on. I can feel it. It is uh, coming down near E. Maybe a little small talk. Let's talk some gas prices. I know last video I mentioned this one on the corner here at 12 and Woodward always has the lowest gas. So that's where we're going today. I need to fill up the S5 and it is also filthy. I don't even want to show you guys the outside of the car. Should I do that today? Should I get a car wash? I just watched a dude in front of me literally smack the curb. Like he was in the right lane and so was I. I was just following him. Smack the curb. I don't know if he was on his phone or what. Homeboy's got a bent wheel now. So in addition to the gas, I think I am gonna wash the car. I'm not doing anything else, it's three o'clock. I think 87 in other places right now is like 429. 393, holy cow. What an absolute steal. No idea what 93 is gonna be, so I guess we'll uh, find out. But yeah, here we are waiting in line. This is always how this place is too. With it being the lowest prices, there's just this line that kind of comes out to the road. Um, three o'clock on a Monday and it's this busy. Got a gas up. I bet you, let's see, my gas light's not on yet, but I bet you I'm at $61. 61 bucks for a fill up. Let's see how close I am. Now this line is not nearly as bad as I've seen at like Sam's Club or Costco. I know they have like their own kind of whatever deals you get with the membership, but if you drive past like a Sam's Club and look at the gas line, they are deep, like eight, 10 people deep for each thing. At least it's not that bad, but we're getting there. Also, this place is small, like relatively, because it's on the corner and nobody knows how to like maneuver and drive and park and like pump gas and then drive away. Like people just don't get it. Like this dude, I have no idea where this red car came from, but I guess they're next in line now or something. So we're moving up finally, but there's just no order. There's no civility. Like people just throw manners right out the window when it comes to uh, the gas pump, gas pump etiquette. Is that a thing? Oh, is that an opening? Oh, oh, oh wait, he's backing in. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're gonna have, <gasps> are they yoinking that spot? Hold on, we might get some drama. F-150 is not giving it up, I'm telling you right now. But now this Toyota, bro, like what, what's everybody doing? I'm getting passed. The dude in the Ford just like cut off this Prius and just took his time waltzing into the uh, the gas station. That's hilarious, man. Like now nobody can get gas at either of these two. This is the roughest gas stop I think I've ever had. Like, is it even worth like going over to that side or should I just wait here? Cause now this Prius is coming in from the wrong side. It's not that deep, I guess. We'll get gas. $65. Yikes. But it's a pay to play hobby, so can't be that upset. Show must go on. I did decide I'm gonna get a car wash. Hopefully the line isn't nearly as long for that because I could look at like the timestamp videos when I took them. That felt like half an hour. Again, my gas light was not even on. That's the most I paid for a fill up in actually ever of owning this car. That is the most expensive gas trip I've ever had. That's insane. Pretty clean F30 in front of us. Need a little fitment on there. Maybe those are just the winter wheels, who knows? Since it's touchless, it gets like 85, 90% of everything off. My car is just horrifically dirty. That's why I wanted to get this step done. I'm gonna take it home, park it, and then use that waterless wash. Followed up with some detail spray just to make sure it's you know clean as can be for the time being. Again, just kind of a maintenance thing. It was just too dirty. I couldn't look at it anymore. So just running some errands in the old S5. What's funny to see too is like how well the detailing products I use work. For example, the Meguiar's hybrid ceramic or whatever, Meguiar's ceramic detailer um, is what I used. Let's get a little wide angle. The last car wash I did. So I completely washed the car and then went over it with the, uh, the hybrid ceramic detailer. So it'll be interesting when this gets rinsed off to see how well that's working. Again, I don't know what chemicals are in this car wash. I probably should, but I'm gonna hit it like we did last time and then get everything clean again, which is ultimately where we wanna live. <laughs> like look at the sheeting on the, the windshield. I barely use windshield wipers when it's storming and stuff because the stuff works so well. Like the beating, it's, it's just nice, you know, it's nice to have.
better. The good news is it's not going to freeze the next couple of days, so I'm gonna leave that stuff in there. Ugh. Wheels and tires did not get touched, but oh well. I know last video I said, oh, thank goodness there's no more snow. Finally, we get like almost summertime, springtime. As soon as I uploaded that video, cause I had filmed like the days prior, it literally snowed like three inches in a day. And it was funny reading some of the comments there cause you guys called me out on it. But I'm like, man, ah, I wish I could control the weather. I wish it could be like this all the time. Fortunately, tomorrow is supposed to be like 60. Thursday is supposed to be 70 one degrees Fahrenheit. Knock on wood, because apparently I jinxed it last time, but I don't think it's supposed to snow, maybe indefinitely at this point. Call me crazy. Also, that's my wheel behind me. The uh, the winter setup with the Bridgestone Bozaks. I don't know, it just didn't snow like it did last year. I also moved um, to a place where it got less snow. I mean, I'm still in Michigan, but like, it's all relative, right? So anyways, I was happy with the all season performance, the Michelin Pilot Sport AS3 Pluses. I just told my friend Jimmy this, I cleared my car off two times this whole season, this whole winter season. I, I got snow off the car two times. Woo. Decided the moped needed gas as well because we're like half a tank. I don't know, it's not super accurate, but oh, at the same time, I just want to make sure everything's filled. She also wasn't running too hot. Uh, it took a minute to start up, so. Also, 509. We'll see how much we spend on the scoot. <laughs> I bet you it'll be a solid half tank. Maybe a little less, hopefully. There we go. Whoa, whoa. Getting a little carried away there. 426. Started right up. Whew. Original goal was to find like a cool sunset spot because it's kind of nice out actually. Maybe right in front of the Taco Bell. Yeah, that'd be funny. Let's go. Let's go do that. Oh yes. Oh, it's amazing. I also 100% just saw an S4 with no cats fly by. And if it does have cats, well, that's not a good. Maybe that's just what my car sounds like. I don't know. I think I'm gonna chill here for like a couple more minutes just to see sunset come down a little more, maybe get some more color. But this is a good way to spend a Tuesday night just chilling at the gas station. I guess technically loitering, but it's not too bad. Taco Bell gas station loitering on a Tuesday. Let's go. Oh my goodness. It is absolutely beautiful out here. And it's only like 40 degrees, which kind of sucks, but I think I am gonna get a little head start on uh, getting home because 40 degrees at night in the wind is not very fun, but I uh, got a full tank of gas in this bad boy. We're ready to rip, look at this sunset. Figured I might as well wrap up the video in the gas station parking lot. If you guys wanna see some more moped cruising content this summer, all you gotta do is ask, I'll supply. That will wrap it up. Like for the algorithm, subscribe, let's get 10,000. Till next time, we'll see y'all.